In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to stop gun spread in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now if this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it allows you to stay the most up to date with every new video that's gonna come out on my channel. And we release videos every day that are gonna help you get better on the offensive side of the ball as well as on the defensive side of the ball. All right guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down a spread defense or how to stop the gun spread in Madden 21 from the nickel 335 wide. Now, if you guys um, don't already know, the nickel 335 wide is the defense that I would recommend running to anybody. It's the best defense in the game, it's the easiest defense in the game, and it's the defense that is honestly the most consistent as far as results in my personal opinion. And we're gonna share with you today um, a defense out of the Cover 4 Show 2 that I think you're going to really, really like, especially against gun spread in this game. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be putting our flats on 30, our curl flats are gonna be on 10 and our hooks are going to be on five. And then from there, we're gonna just put our ball and air defense to play ball and our option defense is gonna be on conservative. Now again, if you have not gotten the nickel 335 wide defensive guide yet, it's complete to, it's a complete ebook that has written and video uh, explanation that is going to be sharing with you how to be able to basically dominate defensively. It's gonna show you how to blitz. It's gonna show you how to play coverage defense. It's gonna show you how to stop the run. It's gonna show you how to stop every major meta formation in the entire game as well with full setups and everything that you need to be successful. So if you want to get that defensive guide, it's just $15 and it's in the description. Okay guys, so I'm in the air, uh, the gun uh, the gun spread out of the Bucks playbook. It's one of the better spreads in the entire game. And what I wanna to do today is I wanna share with you a little defense out of the cover four show too. So what we're gonna do here um, is we're gonna basically just kinda of create this three, three, five wide uh, style defense here. And it's actually relatively simple. We're just gonna shift our defensive line to the same side as the running back. As you can see right here, we wanna be kind of in this position. And then from there, we're just gonna start adjusting. Um, and the first adjustment that we're gonna basically make is on the on the wide side of the field. I want to share with you one route. I think it's from the play. I think it's from this play right here. Yes, this play right here. So um, this little fade right here to, to the to the square receiver. Okay, I want you to watch this. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a cover two on that side. Okay, so we're just gonna create a cover two with a deep half. I want you to watch the square receiver. You're gonna see that if I pass this to the left side, there is a window for me to be able to hit this this route to the to, to number 83 it's very obvious you can hit that route um, really well actually uh, really, really 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 well now on the right side of the field I want to show you this real quick so if I flip the play and I run that same route combination but instead of running it to the wide side I'm just gonna run it to the short side on this I want you to watch what's gonna happen so if I run that route to circle you're gonna see that's not open it's not open at all okay there's no window for them to throw that and you're gonna have a lot of success defensively against them. So what we're gonna create is we're gonna create kind of an amoeba uh, style approach to defense out of this that is gonna be actually very, I think very beneficial, very, very beneficial. So all we're gonna do here is we are going to basically leverage the cross man. So um, if you see a defense, if you see them, if they look like this pre-snap, um, what I want you to do is I want you to flip it. Okay, so I want you to flip your play so it looks like this. And the reason why is because I want that slot corner to be on the wide side of the field. Okay, that's what I want. Now, if I'm, especially if I'm playing gun spread. Okay, and the reason why I want that on the wide side of the field is because I always want that to have the plus one advantage because we're gonna basically cover this thing based off of field leverage um, more so than anything else. So what we're gonna do is we are going to basically uh, we're going to man up the left of screen linebacker onto the triangle receiver. As you can see right here, he's going to go into man coverage on that player. We're going to put the outside corner on the left into a cloud flat. As you're going to see, he's going to play that defense right there. And then on the right side of the field, um, what we're going to do is we're going to um, put we're going to put both of the corners in cloud flats. As you see right here, this is going to do a really good job against any crossing route, any post route. Um, it's just going to be a really nice little zone for us. Okay. 
And then from there, on this right side of the field, what we're going to do is we're going to basically split them. So because we're on the short side now, we don't have to worry too much about everything. So we're going to put this guy right in here, and he's going to be in that deep half. And then the last step is we're going to take our um, defensive end here, Gary, and we're going to put him into a three-rec hook. And what you're going to see here is that we've got those 10-yard curl uh, quarter flats that are going to do a really good job against a lot of different things and all you're doing is you're just going to be working in the middle of the field you're just kind of kind of containing everything and let's just take a look at instant replay and see what this does to what I believe is one of the best offenses in the entire game so if you take a look at this real quickly you're going to notice that this defense does a really good job so um, just at the onset here you see we've got everything bagged literally everything is taken away um, that post route does not look really that open that 10 yard quarter flat's going to do a really nice job the three wreck actually matched onto the running back um, as you can see right there even though he's set to five yards you have really really good middle coverage the quarters do their job they take they match vertically like they're supposed to and this is going to be a really good play now you might be sitting there saying, what happens if they just send everybody vertical on this play? Okay, so if they run a straight up four verticals, what's gonna happen? I wanna share that with you because that's kind of the core, uh, core of this video. So again, you want to always make sure that this guy is on the wide side of the field. So you might need to take auto flip off um, and you might just need to come out in the proper set setup if you want to save yourself some time. But if you see the slot corners on the short side of the field, just flip your play and he'll come back over on the other side, okay? And then again, we're just going to do our adjustments. We're going to put both of our corners into cloud flats. We're gonna put that deep half on the right side of the field, and then on the left side of the field, we're gonna man up against the slot corner, and then we're gonna drop that little middle middle zone right there. And what you're gonna notice on this right here is they can't pass this, they can't hit that streak. There's no window for them to be able to throw that, and you're gonna be able to play very, very good defense against that uh, against that streak. So that's pretty much taken away as well. Um, and again, you're just shifting to the same side as running back. That's gonna be all you need to do as far as run defense goes. And then let's talk about maybe another route combination. Let's talk about a corner route in this situation. So I'm gonna jump over here into this. And again, I'm gonna flip the spread just so I got this corner route going to a, the wide side of the field on this play. And I just want you to kind of watch uh, what's gonna happen. So now that the running back is flipped, uh, everything needs to flip for the defense. We need to make sure that the, uh, again, that that slot corner is on the wide side of the field. That's absolutely critical to this defense. If you don't do that, you're gonna mess it up and it's not gonna work properly. Um, but what you're gonna see is we're gonna put that same defensive coverage out on the field, just like this. We're gonna drop that running back side defensive end uh, into a three rack zone. And then what you're gonna basically see is if they try to throw a corner route, that 30 yard cloud flat is gonna be sitting right on it. There's no window to throw a corner route on either side of the field. There's no window to throw a motion slant on either side of the field. And there's no window to throw a crossing route on either side of the field. So you've now taken away the major three routes that most people are gonna go to. And so this is, in my opinion, the best gun spread defense in the entire game. Again, all you're going to do is you're going to make sure that your cornerback, your slot corner right here is on the wide side of the field. If he's not, you need to flip your play. You need to shift your defensive line to the running back side. And then from there, you're gonna put both of your outside corners in the cloud flats. Your short side safety, which in this example is gonna be Jackson on the right side, he is gonna be going into a deep half. Your wide side safety is gonna be in a quarter zone. As you can see, King's in that quarter zone. And then the last thing that we need to do is we just need to man up the slot onto the wide side of the field in case he goes vertical. And then we're gonna drop a defensive end into a three rack zone hook. And you're gonna see that this defense just literally will bag people. It will take everything away all you've got to do is work the kind of sh the intermediate middle for the in routes and post routes and you're going to be very successful with this defense thanks for watching this video if you want to get a free sample of the nickel three through five wide defensive ebook all you have to do is text the word madden to 208-218-6900 uh, and that way i can shoot you a link to the playlist that will share it with you uh, and it will basically show you kind of a, a, a beginner uh, or like a preview about a one hour preview to the defensive guide and then if you want to get the complete nickel three through five defensive guide with all the setups and tutorials and blitzes and pressure schemes and coverages and just amoeba defenses uh, i would recommend picking that up it's probably the best 15 dollars that you're going to spend all year on this game so thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and again if you want to get that defensive ebook it's available in the description